Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I will be doing a review of Narciso Ombre from the house of Narciso Rodriguez. Narciso Ombre was released in the year 2020 and it is described as a musky, powdery, floral fragrance. It has notes like frangipani, ylang ylang, and white florals as the top notes, musk and amber in the middle, and in the base, this one has cashmere, vanilla, and cedar. Narciso Ombre is a very easy to love fragrance because it has a very versatile and friendly kind of scent profile. If you love musk in your fragrances, then this is a definite hit if you haven't tried it yet. And if you love florals as well, this will be a great addition to your perfume collection. Even if, let's say, you're not really that big on musks or florals, like in my collection, for example, this is probably one of the handful of musk forward fragrances that I have. Musk in fragrances can sometimes be tricky for me because if they are overdone, they can be too much and they can overwhelm the whole scent profile but in Narciso Ombre it's just a perfect blend of florals warm notes like cashmere and amber and of course musk when I looked at the notes I noticed that this one has a more or less similar um, note pyramid to Narciso EDT this is the other Narciso fragrance that I have in my collection I also have a separate review which I'll be linking down below so this one instead of the yellow florals on top this one has rose and peony it has that musk in the middle and in the base, this one also has cedar, but it is paired with another woody note. Instead of cashmere, this one has vetiver. Narciso Ombre starts off with the beautiful yellow florals like frangipani and ylang ylang. Frangipani can have sometimes a waxy scent profile but in here it doesn't have that it's just the right amount of floral which gives you the tropical feel ylang ylang is also a strong kind of yellow floral i detect it immediately in fragrances if it is present it has a very distinct sweet and floral scent that gives an elegant kind of scent profile to fragrances while frangipani as i said gives a tropical feel it's more waxy and citrusy in the middle we have musk and amber but musk is actually present in the entire development of the scent entrance middle and in the dry down because of course this is first and foremost a musk fragrance amber and cashmere in this fragrance just adds that warmth in the whole scent profile making this one a very versatile scent if you live in countries with different seasons so even though this is a tropical yellow floral you can still wear this during fall and winter amber also adds a different kind of powdery nuance to the fragrance i mentioned in my other videos that amber can be translated into many different kinds of scent profiles because it is not just a single note it is a whole accord sometimes it can be balsamic it can be resinous it can be dense but also in some fragrances it's powdery and in this case in our season ombre amber just amps up and deepens the musk given that musk profile a different level and preventing it from being just a very linear kind of musk scent in the base this one as i said has cashmere vanilla and cedar cedar i think will bloom more if i wear this during cooler season i don't really get a lot of the woody notes in here i don't get a lot of cedar compared to for example narciso edt i got a lot of cedar in that but I have a feeling that if I wear this during cooler weather, I will appreciate that woody notes more. Since I got this during springtime, I get a lot of the florals on top. Of course, the musk is there and the amber is more powdery, as I said. Vanilla is not really that prominent, I guess. It wasn't really intended to be a very vanilla dense kind of base in this. I guess it's just there to blend everything together. So right now, it's more yellow floral. It's just beautiful. I love my yellow florals. Smelling frangipani and fragrances immediately transports me back to when I was in elementary school. I would smell that very perfume-like scent of the fresh flowers, picking up some loose flowers that were underground and put them in my hair. It's just beautiful. So for me, this one has a nostalgic feel to it. Well, for some people, this might remind them of a tropical vacation that they once had so you know it depends on your own experiences of course but all i can say is this is a beautiful yellow floral musk fragrance Talking about the yellow florals in this fragrance, I just want to mention other fragrances that I have with prominent frangipani or plumeria notes. This one is Adana Aqua by Valentino. This has a very strong waxy kind of frangipani or plumeria or tiare flower 
in the entrance and i'm gonna link my review video of this one because when i first got this one i thought it was too waxy it was too floral for me but then i fell in love with it because this one just gets better and better over time and i think i was just enjoying more and more florals in my collection so this is another frangipani tiare plumeria forward fragrance this one has a lighter and a more gourmand kind of scent profile because it has pear in here vanilla and also almond another frangipani fragrance that i have is more on the tropical side it's citrusy but it also has lactonic qualities to it this is plumeria by theodorus calutinus this has bergamot on top so it has some citrus that beautiful frangipani this one is named plumeria so you know that this is all about the plumeria flower frangipani or tiare and in the base this has sandalwood so it's sandalwood in here that gives that almost lactonic milky feel to it not milky in a whipped cream kind of way but everything is just so smooth so this is another beautiful plumeria fragrance plumeria by theodorus calutinus and I just want to mention another fragrance that I have that has a very prominent ylang ylang. And it was the reason why I decided to add this to my collection. This is Revolution de la Fleur by Sana Jardin. And this has a lot of florals. It has white and yellow florals. But the main reason why I added this to my collection was that prominent ylang ylang. Ylang ylang for me in perfumes just elevates the whole floral kind of scent profile. It makes it more classy. It makes it elegant. It makes it dressed up. And that's the reason reason why I bought this one. When we discuss about seasons, you know, when is the best time to wear this? If you are a seasonal kind of perfume wearer or perfume lover, actually for me i just wear my perfumes anytime i want to wear them but i would say that this is an all-year kind of fragrance for me because it has that base of cashmere and cedar that will work well during fall and winter it has that beautiful amber in the middle and musk is a very versatile kind of scent with the whole feel of the fragrance being a tropical powdery floral this one will just work perfectly for summer vacations tropical vacations or holidays but then as i said of course this one will work well also during those cooler fall and winter day and nights if you love your powdery musky fragrances. After having this for more than a couple of weeks, I noticed that this one would last me an average four hours, and that is both on skin and on clothes. I noticed with this one, though, that this lasts longer or sticks longer on clothes and on skin, and I think it's just the scent profile of it being a very light kind of scent profile of musk and amber, but I was really hoping that this one would last longer, especially with strong florals like frangipani and ylang ylang, but of course, maybe this one will bloom more during warmer weather. So I will give you guys an update how this one performs on my skin on my clothes as well if i wear this during hotter weather and this one is also one of the fragrances i will be bringing with me at home i am confident that this one would work perfectly for hot and humid tropical climates like in my home country the philippines so i will give you guys an update but so far after trying it for more than a couple of weeks and spraying it on my skin temperatures ranging from zero to one to five degrees celsius even up to eight um it lasted me an average four hours as i said when it comes to projection this one is more of an intimate scent which i actually expected because it's a musk fragrance but compared to for example the heavier florals in our CISO edt understandable how that one has a wider projection because it has rose and peony but in here it's more of an intimate kind of scent profile staying closer to the skin which, thinking about it, will also make as a great work scent, especially if you work in offices or in closed spaces, or if you work in healthcare, this one would be really great as well. So that is it for today's review video, you guys. This is Narciso Ombre from the house of Narciso Rodriguez. I was inspired to get this fragrance by Ceylon Clio. I loved how she described this fragrance. And I'm super happy that I finally have this in my collection. I've been actually going back and forth with this one and also other Narciso fragrances. This is my second Narciso fragrance in my collection. And I am thinking of adding more Narciso fragrances because I noticed that I love the scent profile and I love the musk, of course in these Narciso cubes. I tried Narciso Poudre from a decan from Claire Smith. I have Narciso EDT and this one and I am planning to get Narciso Rouge EDT. So let me know if you guys have that perfume in your collection. Thank you for watching today's review video. As I always say in every single content, have fun, much love, stay safe, and see you in the next one.